हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग आम ए अडेबल हेलो Uh, good evening students uh, i am gc rahul so today's agenda is about uh, creating a music website using the python and django so i will tell uh, a little bit about myself so i am a python uh, full stack web, web development trainer and having 5 years of experience and also i have been associated with the mgit from the past 2 years and hiran ram babu is our director of mgit so without ado you uh, we shall continue the music streaming app uh, so many times you have seen the uh, online app music streaming applications like uh, uh, what we call dubbing is a music streaming application and also we have seen uh, 
Spotify. Spotify is the world's number one music streaming application, and also uh, I can say some of the applications like Jio Seven, and uh, also there are some more uh, music streaming applications. Uh, so where the music is being played online, so we don't have to download the songs because if you want to download a hundred songs or a thousand songs in our mobile phone, so it would be a very problematic uh, because uh, it would eat uh, all the memory inside our uh, mobile storage system. So for that, the companies have uh, uh, I mean, uh, come with the solution that why don't we give a streaming uh, live streaming music application so i will start i will showcase manage.py run server so i will just uh, showcase how the music application looks like and also i will play some of the songs so that you'll be understanding and also I will be explaining the background and how the songs are being added and how to add a song, how to add a poster of the song and also how to add the duration of the song so that it would be easy for you uh, to understand how an uh, online streaming music application is being created. So uh, first of all, I would uh, choose the Chrome browser. Yeah, it's starting the Chrome browser. So, see here the music uh, has been already loaded. So, see here uh, you can see the music poster, and also if I change this, uh, uh, see here uh, I have uh, this is another song and which has its own uh, music poster, and also. You can see here, uh, like here, uh, you can see the music poster. It's a common music poster that was used in many websites, and you can see the first name that is the artist name. I mean the singer name, and all is well is the song name which I have uploaded uh, it from the 3ds movie song, and I have used two buttons for the previous on the left side on on the right side. I have chosen the next button, and this is the play button and in that also there is a pause button also so uh, i would just start playing the song so i would decrease the volume in order to not disturb our website so see here okay so now start of playing you can see here on the left has its own length like five minutes This is the another song uh, where uh, the song name is uh, Bugo Lamanta and it was sung by Adnan Sami. And also, you can see uh, so whenever we change any song or we change to any previous song, the poster, the name, and also the artist and the timer will be changed, but not the buttons or the screen or the background. So, see here. I have taken a background from the Google uh, to look nice and also I have created a play, uh, background for the music player as you can see here I am just moving my mouse so that uh, you could understand here and also at the center point I have uh, uploaded the poster of the movie uh, here and also see here in this way any artist it may be male or female it, uh, it will be appeared here and also the song the song name will be appeared here and below that there will be the buttons for the next song previous song and also this is the play and pause and it shows the duration of the song and also this is the volume controller button 
So if I play this song also. songs or to change the songs at uh, at their will and wish because they only have the access to stream that songs so let me show you how to add the song so uh, I will just uh, go to the admin panel so the admin panel is the most important thing in every uh, in every application Django applications so what the importance of uh, uh, this admin panel is that we can add anything we can delete anything we can uh, modify anything or we can completely delete the files or uh, we can give the permissions also we can add the users by ourselves so see here now i'm adding the song here so uh, i will first click on the audio file and then uh, i will click on the songs so there are uh, some of the songs here so i would say uh, this song and i would give the title g o p p i k k a gopi kamma sorry uh, it's one a and m and also uh, the artist is mm, and also let's uh, it's the artist is Chitra C H I Chitra and also we will select a common poster for that so I would take the common poster from here itself so I will click on here yeah now I have added the poster and also uh, I would give the duration is uh, because every song has its own duration so we need to specify its duration so here I have added the title of the song that is Gopi Kamma. Gopi Kamma and then the artist uh, who sung the song that is Chitra. And then the image of the poster I have given a common image. And this is the audio file where we are going to have the audio file. And then the duration of the song. So the, all of these are the most important things for an audio file. So I have added another uh, Thing that is audio link so that means uh, if you don't have the audio you can actually put that audio link here so now I am clicking on save so see here the song has the song Gopi Kamma has sorry was added successfully you can see that is added here and if I click on uh, refresh and click on uh, next you can see here the song Gopi Kamma and the artist who sang the song. Okay, so we'll jump in 
how to create an uh, application or streaming applications so see here how I would start it so first of all uh, I would create an application for that that is Django hyphen admin start project so I would give uh, it as player player is my project name so so what it does sorry yeah yeah so this command will actually so uh, so I have to change the player name because so I would just say play because the player has already existed so now I will switch to that uh, play cd dot play and then the second command would be manage dot py and I would say ta art start app music music so this is where we are going to create our music application so I would just open that in the code editor code uh, dot so that I could code everything so it will take a couple of seconds to open So yeah, it has already opened. Yeah, it's opening. So see here, this play is the project which I have created, and here the music is the app which I have created. So here, first of all, we have to do the important thing that is we have to register our app in the settings.py file in order to start creating our music streaming application so I would do one thing so here in the installed apps click on enter and then just type music music and then put comma and then save yeah so we have successfully inst installed our app in the settings.py so that we could uh, run our application without any interruption so first of all we have to create a model so I would say class song of models dot so models dot model so why we are creating the models because the model which actually where our data is being stored and it maintains our data so in order to, if you are uploading any song any video or any image or if you are any text file so for in that case we require a database so for that reason the Django has provided uh, the models so the models will actually maintain our data so we have created the title of the song so title for the song and then the second one would be the artist so the artist of the song so that means who have sung the song and then I will give the same thing text field text field and then the third one would be the image because we had to uh, show some image of that album so that the users could understood that this image I mean uh, this image belongs to this particular album or this uh, particular movie image field image field sorry yeah image field 
and then have to create audio underscore file so go d m o d e l s models dot so for the audio file i would say file field file yeah file sorry it should be capital file file field and then we need to specify where our file should be uploaded so when we are uploading anything it can it will ask where to upload the file in the background so that it would be easy for a developer to go directly uh, to that song so the blank equals to true null equals to also true that means it should not allow null and it should not allow blank because when we don't upload a song it will show an error and then i would specify audio audio link equals to models dot the same thing f i l e file file field and then i would say the maximum length the maximum length should be 200 characters because uh, some of the audio links like http or facebook.com slash this slash that slash so it should not exceed more than that because if you take more than that it would be burden to store in the database so we are accepting only up to 200 characters and we should specify this to true and also null equals to null equals to true null equals to true so here i have added some of the fields and we will add the last field that is duration because every song has its own duration every song has its own duration so duration equals to models dot character field and maximum length because the songs won't be of a maximum length of 50 or 60 character it would be hardly of 5 minutes 6 minutes 7 minutes so we would specify that with the 20 number because more than 20 there would be no song and then we would declare the last variable that is paginate so what is the use of paginate here means when we switch between the songs like first song second song it would show the page numbers that we are in the second song we are in the first song of the album or else uh, when we are in the album when we are uh, moving from the one album to another album it would show that this is the first album this is the second album and this is the third album so for that case we are using the pagination and then return self dot because why we are returning self dot title because we need to understand because we uh, we have seen the admin panel so where we are have we have uploaded the songs if you are not written in that uh, self dot title it would say object dot 1 object dot 2 object dot 3 so uh, if in case if you are having thousands of songs it would show object dot 1000 object dot 999 object dot 9998 so we would be able to understand that so for that case what we are what we have to do we have to simply specify the title of the song so now uh, we have successfully completed building the model and then the second thing is we have to do the views file so this is where we are going to write the business logic for the django django dot score dot paginator paginator which helps us 
to give the page numbers for every album. Page number, and then we have to import the models to uh, use that in the models. So now I am importing the models into the views. So the model was S O N G song. Yeah. So now we'll do some coding part here. I uh, would say I N D E X index. I would define a function by the name index. Inside that, I would put request. Request. So we would uh, say start with the paginator equals to. P A G I N A T O R paginator of the model name was S O N G song S O N G song dot objects dot all. So why I am using this objects dot all because when we are when we want to retrieve the details. From the database, we are going to use this objects dot all means it is going to retrieve all the objects from the database with this query, and then the second line goes to page underscore number equals to request dot get dot get page so why i am returning writing this line because we have to get the page number for every album so that i am writing this line page underscore number equals to request dot get dot capital get dot small get because the capital that get would actually get the details and the small get we are actually getting the page page name and then we would go to the next line that we have to create another variable that is page underscore object equals to paginator dot get page of page number page number yeah page number and then we would see the last one context here we we are doing nothing we are creating a dictionary so that we could put this dictionary into the template to view the songs page underscore obj object and page underscore object yeah so i have created a dictionary and then return render of request comma i am creating index dot html so where so here we are actually going to show the songs so uh, we have successfully created our view and then the next thing is let's create an url in the application that is music so i would say urls dot py u r l s dot py urls dot py and then i would say it simply click on enter it will create an url page so uh, i would simply copy the required things from the project that are these control c i would paste here So uh, 
and uh, I don't need this uh, I, would I would say simply uh, remove this and put cons input settings because we require settings file in order to store our uh, music in the database from Django dot cons dot urls dot static input static input static input static and then uh, path and dot but import views so I'm uh, just calling views because I'm using dot so why I'm using dot because uh, the file is in the same folder you can see here app and uh, views sits in the same page so in that uh, so that's because we have created the urls.py and we have to call the app app underscore name equals to app score name equals to app and then i would uh, just remove this and then i would say simply index i n d e x index use sorry views dot index because we are importing it from the views which we have created in the before step name equals to i n d e x index so now we have created the urls here and we have to also import some of the settings in this file also in the project url so that one uh, would be unchanged and comma include so these are the default uh, files which are created by the django and we will uh, import some of the files called uh, django dot conf import settings as I earlier said we have to store the songs so for that reason we need the settings file and then contrib contrib dot static files dot urls input static files url so why i am importing this because uh, we are uploading a music file and also the poster so for that reason or also text file so for that reason we need a settings file and also the static files so the static files where or uh, <coughs> audio files video files or any text files will be stored and these settings would help the static files so uh, with uh, lastly we would import one of the file that is django dot contrib dot static files dot urls import static yeah static so now we have successfully imported that 
now what we have to do we have to call the admin from the other url file so for that path we are not specifying anything we say include app dot urls urls and here we have to specify the settings file so i would say url pattern so when so i am using plus symbol here plus equals to that means whenever we are uploading any file it should increase by one static files url method patterns and then url pattern equals to sorry this is not the static this is static a static uh, settings settings dot media so media means it can be a video or an audio media underscore url url comma uh, document underscore r o o t so document root where the document should be it should be in the settings media root s e t t i n g s settings dot m e d i a media underscore r o o t sorry r o o t root so now we have uh, completed our urls file so the last step would be we have to configure that in the settings dot py file so as i said the settings file is used in many purposes now here we are going to do for our music application so here you can see the static file view because we have created something called static in the urls and also in the application called static so for so for that we are actually configuring that in the settings dot py file so for that i am still saying static static underscore static underscore root equals to os dot path we need to specify the path dot join so we need to specify the base directory so the base means where all the files are stored and then i would say simply sta t i c start yeah and then the second thing is we need to specify the media root m e d i a media underscore r o o t root sorry r o o t root equals to o s dot path dot join base directory m e d i a media sorry the media should be in small letters e d i a media so i would explain why have we have created static root file and the media root file uh, in a moment media underscore url equals to media so see the static files because the images would go here into the static folder and the music files like your audio or video will go into this media root file
have to import OS. Import OS. So yes. So now we have created the first thing we have created is model. So why we have created the model? The model is used to store and maintain our data like your title, artist, image and all that and the views where we are going to like the business logic and these are the two URL files of app and the project and then settings and then we have to create something called templates to suit the user so I would say templates and inside that templates I would say index.html so I would just copy because we don't have time so it's loading so I would select the folder with the notepad to copy static to store our static files I will say static 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 so there are two static files so I would simply create two static files that is sty style dot css css stands for the cascading style seals and the next one is script for the javascript javascript file dot js so we'll just uh, move this file to here for easy and convenience purpose So now we have completed all the things like creating application, creating the project and creating everything that we need to specify. So now what we have to do is we have to just simply migrate our application. So I would choose this browser and here I would say one. Uh, so this is the port number, default port number by the Django. So I would just say python manage dot py run server to check if the server is properly working or not so it would take a couple of seconds so choose a uh, app
we have to just change app to play name equals to play play let's see So it's now verifying the files. Yes. Yeah, it has taken all the things which are required. So to py run server. So now let's check once again. Our music file yes our music file is shows no errors so I would say enter yeah see here the music file has been now ready so now what we will do we will upload a file once again to ensure that the application we built is working as we have designed and we will see where the songs has been added into our database so here now see click on songs so I will say add so first of all I should choose uh, the audio file mm, now click on songs Chian Vikram Chian Vikram and then I would uh, choose an image so that our poster should not be empty yes we have choose the image and here we have to uh, specify the duration of the song so I would uh, specify the duration of the song uh, it would be 0440 so now we uh, as we have st uh, started earlier how to add a song in this way also in the same way we are adding a song that is uh, excuse me and this is artist name and the title of the song and everything and I would say uh, click save and add another so that means we can save and add another file so now what we'll do we will add another song so first of all I would select a song uh, from bang bang so the title is bang 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 this is the title song so I would uh, give the name of the singer who sung the song that is B E N N Y Benny Dayal Benny Dayal so I would give uh, the song of 4 minutes 20 seconds yeah so we have successfully uh, enter the correct name sorry we have not uh, chosen the image so it shows error because we have to choose the image so I have chosen the image and have to choose the audio file also 
so that is this song and click on save it would show the song bang bang was successfully sorry the song was added successfully so in this way we are going to create an application for a music streaming app and also we are going to add songs in the background now let's see if you click on refresh uh, if you click on move the next song we have added two songs uh, so see here yeah we have the song that is uh, excuse me and the artist was Chian Vikram and then if I click on play it would start play the song here you can see uh, the second for running 5789 so uh, 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 it should not uh, disturb our uh, class so you can understand the noise the song is being played and now if I click on the pause button it would pause the song and if you click on the next button it would show the next song so in this way we are going to create an uh, music streaming application so I think you have enjoyed uh, the section of how to create a music application using the Python and Django so I would do one thing so thank you students thank you all thank you for your time uh, so if you like that and if you are willing to join to that course so I would uh, just specify uh, the number so that you could contact or MJIT MJIT just a moment I will just uh, enlarge this so MJIT and uh, this is our uh, mentor number so that uh, and also uh, student counselor this number would help you to get the details of your required course like uh, if you're willing to learn the Django or uh, Python with Django or any other course you can just uh, take this number and you can contact and you can also co uh, get the details of what are the uh, training courses uh, we are giving in the MJIT and also uh, what are the uh, time duration for the training courses and what are the topics which we'll be covering under under this training under this training section so uh, i would just pause this screen for few seconds for one or two minutes i would just increase this font uh, to 36 okay so that it would be visible to you so I think uh, this is visible to you so yeah I hope you have uh, taken this number and uh, thank you all Thank you for joining and making this section uh, successful. And I'm GC Rahul, Python full stack web developer trainer from MJIT, signing off.